Tip number 99. Your product should be tested for ESD discharge. You know the spark which goes between your finger and all the things around you. Sometimes. <laughs> and even people. <laughs> Why we are speaking about this? Once we had really bad experience about this ESD discharge. When uh, I was starting with hardware design, a lot of happened when I was starting with hardware design, we developed a product which we sent uh, to a test house and uh, they told us the product is failing ESD discharge test. Yeah, surprise. What was actually happening and uh, we had uh, we had a bead, ferrite bead placed between analog and digital ground. And uh, when they were doing this uh, test, ESD test, then uh, the pulse it didn't discharge through the bead, it discharged through the chip and it always damaged the chip. Once we replaced the, this ferrite bit, uh, we replaced it by zero ohm resistor, then everything was fine. Now, imagine that we would not send the product into the test house and we didn't ask them for ESD discharge testing. What would happen? We would start mass manufacturing and selling in thousands. What would happen then? People would start sending the products back. Because the electrostatic discharge it is very common. It can happen anytime. And, um, and anywhere. So it would be it would be not good. That's why it is very important if you are designing a product which is going to be shipped uh, to people, especially to many, many, many people, you really would like to run this kind of test. It may not be necessary to run ESD discharge test for some small boards or for some boards which are going to be mounted inside bigger system because people are not going to be touching this, but uh, everything where people can touch all the connectors, all this stuff, you should test it. It's not very difficult. Uh, you can do it even in your lab. Everything what you will need is this kind of gun and then you need some setup. If you do it in your lab, uh, you would need to also study how to do exactly this test. But uh, Basically, what uh, you are going to do, you will be doing uh, air discharge test. So uh, you will be, you know, sending the sparks to the places where people can touch your product. And uh, you will be also doing a contact test when you take this gun and uh, you touch uh, your product, you touch the pins and connectors. And then you start sending the pulses. So one is through air, where you see the spark, and the other one is when you are touching the uh, the places. So you take this gun, you go around the product, everywhere where people can touch, you try the pulses. There is a counter on this gun, and uh, usually you need to send number of pulses. So not only one pulse, okay? You, you put there one pulse and you say, hooray, it survived. No, there are number of number of pulses which you need to send. Uh, so you can usually set up or set this in the gun and you just hold it uh, pressed and it sends the certain number of pulses. And also you need to set up the voltage which is going to be sent and also you need to set polarity of this voltage. So you are testing the product for positive and negative polarities of the pulses. As I say, it's not very difficult. You can find it. Uh, you can find description of test on the internet uh, and you can pre-test it in your lab. But you definitely, if you are 
creating a product which is going to be shipped to people you definitely would like to do this because you are risking that you know people are going to send you back damaged boards or damaged products tip number 99 your product should be tested for esd discharge why if your product is esd sensitive you may be risking a lot of returns as esd discharge is very common 